Hello, this is Drew Loker, and today I'm going to show you how to upload to Walgreens and crop. I've already logged into my Walgreens account, and the image is on my desktop. I'm going to click on Upload. This is a very important step right here. A great deal of time was spent in class to help you make sure that you upload the correct file size. Walgreens does not want you to upload the full size file. Therefore, they've hidden the speed and autocorrect options underneath the twirl down menu. So, we're going to twirl down the options, and you'll notice I've already selected the slower upload full resolution. If you click on the info, it states that you don't need to send a full size file for 8x10s. However, that is completely, totally inaccurate. Choose slower upload full resolution and turn off automatically remove red eye rotate and color correct this will tend to make pictures other than people pictures darker and generally it's the best idea to upload the pictures correct and ready to be printed and I would recommend remember these settings I'll go ahead and click on select photos I've navigated to the desktop and I'm selecting the file that I'd like to print. This is a rather large print as you can see that it's 9262 kilobytes or 9.2 megabytes. So I am pausing while it uploads. The photo has successfully uploaded. Now I'm going to go ahead and click view album. One of the very important things to do is to confirm that a very large file was in fact uploaded. And when we click on the image, we can see in fact in the details that the image is a little over 9 megabytes and the photo dimensions is 5100 by 3400 pixels. This is a cropped image coming off of a Nikon D800. To proceed, I'm going to click on Add to Cart. And then I'm going to go to the cart. At the top is the link to go to the photo checkout. By default, it has added a 4x6. I'm going to click on Edit Order and Sizes. The first thing I'm going to do is enter a 1 for the 8x10 and take off the zero or take off the 4x6. You want to make sure that you add the other size first or it is possible they'll remove it. And I'm going to click on crop and rotate. In the 8x10 crop format, you'll notice that I am going to have a challenge getting the eagle babies as well as the parents in the picture. So I need to decide if I'd like to crop a little bit further over to the left and I think what I want to do is decide to go ahead and crop out the babies and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and recenter the eagles after just a little bit of playing around with the settings I've decided to raise the eagles up a little higher to get rid of the distracting branch above you can either drop them down and include the framing branch or rise them up. It's a tough decision with the branch above or without. Ultimately I decided that the color of the pine cones was a little distracting so I increased the zoom factor just a little bit. I applied changes and now I'm clicking done. The final steps are to add to cart and go ahead and check out. Walgreens is frequently running coupons and ads, so look for any coupon codes that might decrease the cost of your order. The coupon code for today is the order with no spaces, and that's going to be good for 25% off the order. I'm now ready to proceed to checkout and choose pay in store and choose the closest store. This concludes the tutorial.